I'm Greg Lynn, and I'm Chief Creative Officer at Piaggio Fast Forward. Jita has three modes of operation. It follows a person and uses that person for high-level navigation, but it follows them in a very sophisticated way. Jita's second mode of operation is it can be autonomous. Once you've taught it how to move around in an environment, it can then go from waypoint to waypoint and use the paths that you've taught it. Jita's third mode of navigation is convoy, where the vehicles talk to each other and navigate based on the position of the group. The way that Jita navigates is it builds a three-dimensional map visually. It's not following a signal. So the person leading it has a wearable. That wearable has cameras. And as you walk or run, you build a three-dimensional map and you place yourself within it. You share that map with a Jita. The Jita also has a camera and it's building a map forward and backwards and positioning itself relative to you. So it knows where you are in space, it understands that space, and then you can tell it where to be relative to where you are. And that's how it follows. So at PFF, we saw a trend where people were moving less and more things were being brought to them. We want to make an alternative vision where Jita helps people move more. By carrying and following, it makes your hands free so you can do more with your hands. And in being able to do that, you can walk or run further and for longer. So we see a, a collaboration between robotics and people in order to make people move more and better and more freely. Imagine, instead of having to get in a car and take a very inefficient vehicle just because you want to carry a case of wine. Now you can walk to your local wine store, put it in a Jita, and walk home. So we want to give people the opportunity to make more decisions. So instead of having to rely always on an automobile, now they can take their bike, their skateboard, or they can walk. So we feel that we can solve a whole group of problems. Anytime you feel like you need a car to solve a problem, we feel like we can give you the carrying capacity of an automobile, but let you walk or ride. Anytime you have the problem of having to stop and start, move from the outdoors to the indoors, we're also solving that problem. So instead of having one mode for the city and another mode for inside a building, we can break that threshold and let you cross from indoors to outdoors. We feel like anything involving delivery, anything involving shopping, anything involving carrying, we can add something and add options. It's great working with Piaggio. What Piaggio brings to us is thinking about people, thinking about mobility, not in terms of how can I replace this person's job, but how can I make this person's life better? How can I make a lifestyle out of motion? We're trying to think about robotics and mobility in terms of lifestyle, pleasure, uh, cities, culture, being communal. We put people at the center, and that's something that comes from Piaggio Group.